Thank you, Honorable Speaker, sir. It's not often I get to deliver a ministerial statement, but uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I stand before you this, this August Assembly today to address a matter of utmost importance, the relentless battle against uh, antimicrobial resistance, commonly known as AMR, or as the media would like to call it, superbugs. AMR, as the World Health Organization defines it, occurs when a bacteria, virus, fungi, parasites no longer respond to antimicrobial medicines. You may be aware of antibiotics, which the doctor might have given you when you were sick. This is one type of antimicrobial medicine. It is the misuse and overuse of antimicrobials that is leading to AMR. In May 2015, during the 68th World Health Assembly in Geneva, Switzerland, the global community, took a decisive step to adopting the Global Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance. Since then, our collective efforts have gained momentum, a momentum that extends beyond Fiji shores, encompassing our region and the entire world. AMR is not merely a scientific concern. It is a threat to our very existence. It jeopardizes lives today, and it parallels the hard-won advancement of modern medicine. <laughs> Antimicrobials, our medicine, medical cornerstone, underpin surgical procedures, infectious disease management, and fundamental patient care. Imagine a world where these vital tools lose their effectiveness due to resistance. A world where simple injuries could mean hospital admissions, or a world where disease such as pneumonia can no longer be treated. We cannot afford such a scenario. So alarm bells in 2016 rang when a report shared by G. O'Neill called Tackling Drug-Resistant Infections Globally Final Report and recommendations on the review and antimicrobial resistance predicted that by the year of 2050, 10 million deaths will be attributed to AMR globally, surpassing the deaths from cancer and diabetes. The bugs are getting stronger, yet they are there are no new antibiotics to treat them. A report from the World Bank in 2017 entitled Drug-Resistant Infections, a Threat to Our Economy Future, framed the economic cost of AMR and the impact that it would have on the world in the not too distant future, predicting, predicting that an estimated 3.8% of global GDP could be lost annually and push 28 million people into poverty. By 2019, the World Health Organization had reported that 1.27 million deaths globally had been a direct result of AMR infections, contributing to the deaths of an additional 4.94 million people. The numbers are piling up as we are escalating challenges from microorganisms, and Fiji is not immune. In recent years, we have faced outbreaks of formidable foes like the Acinobacter bermanii and other carbapenem resistant organisms, or CROs, within our major health facilities. These are what we call, as I alluded to, superbugs. These challenges remind us that the battle against this silent pandemic is far from over. Yet, we remain vigilant and resolute, steadfast in our commitment to protect our people. We have made significant strides in enhancing our capacities across the various aspects of healthcare, be it in surgical interventions, advanced dialysis or critical care. However, let us remember that even the most sophisticated medical procedures can be rendered futile if our patients fall prey to infections caused by resistant organisms. But this is not a cause for despair. It is a call for action. It shows us the importance of our ongoing efforts that need to strengthen our resolve. Together, we can ensure that our advancements in healthcare are not undermined by the threat of antimicrobial resistance. We will continue to fight, innovative, innovate, and protect the health of every Fijian, ensuring that no life is lost to preventable and treatable infection. In Fiji's mitigation strategy, we are not passive observers in this fight. Fiji has a robust mitigation strategy on the National Action Plan of Antimicrobial Resistance, launched in November of 2022, and the NAP AMR outlines key goals, milestones, and collaborative partnership. Our path forward lies in unity, knowing our adversary and acting collectively. 
The One Health approach to mitigating AMR mandates that we work collaboratively across not only human health, but also with our animal health and partners in the environment space. This cross-sectoral approach recognizes the importance of data sharing, cooperation in multidisciplinary approach, and the importance of the ecosystem we all share. One Health is not only a method, but also a powerful tool in our arsenal against AMR. I invite my colleagues in animal health and environmental health to work together to stop this global threat. We will speak aside with the National Action Plan of AMR in hand, strong cross-sector collaboration and good governance mechanism in place. There is hope yet for our people. Fiji's National Antimicrobial Risk Committee, or NAC, has led the way in the Pacific and globally on the path of AMR mitigation strategy, and I commend the tireless effort of the committee. Mr. Speaker, sir, awareness plays a vital role in our shared fight. It is not confined to healthcare professionals alone, but for every citizen, whether child or parent, holds a stake. We must educate, empower, and engage. Our battle against AMR begins with understanding that we're fighting against what we're fighting against. We all learned available lessons during COVID, the need for proper hygiene practice, such as hand washing, the use of masks to prevent the spread of disease and germs, and the need to protect ourselves from old and emerging disease using vaccines. The message must go out there that together we can prevent needless deaths and suffering. Since 2015, NAC has consistently organized World AMR Awareness Week from November 18th to the 24th. This is an important global occasion during which we recognize the threat of AMR and the importance of spreading awareness and how we can protect ourselves. Awareness, honorable speakers, is our weapon, and together we shall prevail. Take heed when doctors and pharmacists tell you to finish your course of antibiotics, and do not ask for antibiotics when your healthcare professional says you don't need it. Don't share antibiotics with friends and family. And the six sheet. Every little bit helps, but we must listen to professional advice when it is given. Get vaccinated against vaccine-preventable disease and eat a balanced and healthy diet to boost your immune system. Use antibiotics and antimicrobials rationally, whether you are a healthcare professional or a member of the public. We all have a role to play. Educate other members of your family and your friends on the importance of preventing AMR. Remember, we are all in this together. In closing, Honorable Speaker, sir, let us remember our fight against AMR transcends border. It is shared responsibility, one that unites us in safeguarding our health, our future, and generations to come. Our actions today will determine the future we live in tomorrow. Let us come together from all sectors and walk all walks of life to fight this common enemy. And I thank you for the opportunity, Mr. Speaker. Sir.